Now, when recording audio, sometimes you might have to like record yourself. You might actually be bouncing on a track off an MPC or something, and you might hit, you know, the three button on the keypad, and you got to run over your MPC. So you might want to give yourself a little bit of room. You can easily do this just by not starting at the very beginning. Like if you have your click going and you hit record, you can just let it play for two bars. But what you can also do is you can hit this count in button, the two bars on the transport. Now, on this button, it basically allows you two measures before it actually starts recording. So when you hit this button, it's going to give eight clicks before it actually starts to record, which is just enough time for you to relocate to your MPC and set up the drum so that you can record it. This is very important, and it's very important when you're like tracking out beats because as these things play, you kind of want to hit the play button at the right time within the sequence or right on the grid so that when you, if you have to cut something and kind of replace it back to where it was, it's going to be a lot easier to fix, you know what I'm saying, because it's going to be really close to where it, it should be.